Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Paul or Massive Caliber, and I've got some tactical new gameplay on the map Quarry. Ah, oh, shit! I just fucked my shoulder up. My bad. Uh, I'm taking my jacket off, and I have an injured rotator cup. And I just, I just give myself an owie, as my kids would call it. But anyways, yeah, I got a nuke on this gameplay or on this this uh, map or this game. Uh, but the host gets all fucking. He gets his panties off and not, and ends up dashboarding on me. So I, the whole full effect of the nuke doesn't doesn't happen. You know, I get to call it in, but uh, someone gets butt hurt and dashboards on me. Um, but it still counts as a nuke, and that's that's what it matters, I guess, right? But I started out using a Tar 21, uh, Slide of Hand Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro, Red Tiger Camo. I've got Fall Camo on pretty much all my assault rifles, but I think Fall is ugly as shit, so I use Red Tiger instead because <laughs> it's my favorite color. But I think I end up having to pick up a couple weapons on the way, but uh, I use the Harrier Strike and the Chopper Gunner. Chopper Gunner over the AC-130, um, man, I've oh, I pretty much always used the, the Chopper Gunner. I just love the Chopper Gunner for some reason. I know it's only a two. You get shot down quicker than the AC-130, and people call it the Noob Gunner, I guess, but hey, go out the Noob Gunner all you want. I love it. I think it's awesome. I was addicted. Oh, knife fail. Oh, get naked. I was addicted to the Chopper Gunner. I mean... Uh, when I first, I think I actually got it out of a care package one day, and I was like, "Oh shit, dude! I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get these." So I put on like the five, seven, and eleven, the chopper gunner on, you know, because <laughs> it was just it's fun. I loved it. I love the way it flies around, and I love it when you get a drunk chopper gunner or a chopper gunner that absolutely doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, and they fly out of the map, pretty much not out of the map, but away from everybody. Yeah, it's always awesome. But no, um. Why I do it rather than the AC-130, I have a hard time control. I don't know. I don't know if it's a hard time controlling the AC-130, or I just can't aim the fucking giant missiles. Those, I don't know. I, I get a lot more kills, more luck with the, uh, more kills with the chopper gunner over than the AC-130, and I don't know. I mean, rag on me all you want if you're using the chopper gunner. I don't really care. It's just it's it's what I, I enjoy using, you know. But um. Yeah, I haven't got many nukes with the AC-130, but that's just because I probably don't want to use it very well. Uh, but I've been playing Mono for Two a lot more than Mono for Three. Pretty much, I just I'm getting bored with Mono for Three. But unfortunately, I've got to still play it because I'm highly competitive with my wife, and Mono for Three is the only game she fucking plays. She'll only play the new CODs that come out, and no matter how much she hates them, she will never go back to the old ones, unfortunately. But, um, so I've got to continue to play that. I can't let her get ahead of me. I can't let her get to, er, rank-wise. I can't let, I'm very competitive. <laughs> uh, but, um, what the hell are you doing back here? And I pick up the Vector because, you know, I'm getting, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I pick it up. I, I'm getting low on ammo. I'm going to think about I love pretty much all the guns of Modern Warfare 2. They're so easy to use, and I can just pick up pretty much any gun on here and feel comfortable about using it. So, and the Vector is like the fucking ACR when it comes to um, being a laser beam, even though it takes probably like 30 bullets to kill somebody. Um, but uh, I'm having a little fucking one-on-one -on -one with this guy. I know I'm like really close to my Harrier Strike, and I don't want to die. I don't. I'm scared this guy's got a noob tube. This person's got a noob tube, so I'm trying to stay at a distance, trying to see if he'll, like, come chase me or something, you know. And as much as I fucking hate flashbangs, I'll throw them to check the per I'll, I'll, I'll chuck them. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of, like, a little strafing right here, trying to, yeah, here we go, I got it. And here's a thing, I mean, chopper gunner, do, or not chopper gunner, Harry. When you get a Harry strike, do you think it's a bitch thing to, or a pussy thing to, to go and hide and let it try and get you your, um, your Harrier? Or your night, your hair, your your 11 kill streak, either your AC-130 or your chopper gunner. A lot of times, what I'll do is I'll be like, all right, when I, you know, I'll be like in the middle of a fight, you know, like I know they'll be, I know they're coming around the corner. I know, you know, I'll sit there and I'll stay in the fight. And I'm getting a fucking noob tube, and I'll be like, and my hair, hair ends up getting me like four or five kills. I'd be like so fucking pissed. Like if I would have just backed off and let it get me kills, that'd be good. But you know, it's I don't know. I mean. Some people think what I'm doing right now is, is a fucking bitch move, but I don't know. I mean, <laughs> chances are if I would have got one out there or got more kills myself, I probably would have got tubed or fucking sniped or something. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm using the the chopper gunner. It's, it's what does it for me. Um, I had more fun in the chopper gunner than I do the AC-130. I got more 
I guess you could have more luck, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I know the AC-130 takes more to get shot down, but um, when you have a decent chopper gunner, you you can just rape, and they don't shoot anything down. It's, just, it's game on. And I feel more confident in the chopper gunner because I could probably I can usually pick them off before they start shooting me um, and a lot of times what I'll find is when I'm in the AC-130 and they're all in a building the AC-130 can't do this I mean I can't aim it very well the, the giant cannons and whatnot the um, the AC-130 fucking rounds into these buildings very well like I can with the the chopper gunner so it can actually it'll hover over a spawn and, and it's just destruction but um, I don't know if I can pick up enough kills in the, in the... I always like it when I don't get... I like it when I'm in a chopper gunner. I'm like... I'm hoping you know, I can get enough kills for the nuke. That way I don't have to worry about if I can get out and get nuked too. But if I don't, it's like... It's always that challenge to go out and get the last few kills that you need, you know, to get that nuke. It uh, gets the blood rushing, you know, gets the blood pressure going. <laughs> Sends it through the roof and then I usually am swearing and cussing because a fucker will nuke to me. But anyways, luckily that shit don't happen in this one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I want to do a new series called, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but I want to do one where I get, like, a nuke on every, um, a nuke on every map. Like, uh, I was thinking about doing, like, an M16A4 class setup on all of them. Like, my favorite class setup, um, M16A4, the holographic sight, is hands down my favorite weapon to use. It's just so fun to use. Um, it sounds pretty beast, uh, but I know it's... It can, it can, when I'm up against someone with the FAMAS, and I'm usually going to fucking lose that fight because the, the fire rate, it, it bursts a little bit faster than the M16. But, um, I mean, my, I mean that's from my experience anyway. I don't know what it actually fucking does, but, oh man, I almost died there. But, um, <laughs> it fired like a pro with the Scar Age. I've gotten a lot more nukes I have with a fucking Scar than any other goddamn gun. I don't know, it's part of my language, but, uh, I don't know why, I mean... I, I guess I do know why, because this thing just, it kills so fast, but, uh, yeah, but back to the series thing, I want to do it, on, like, on every map with the M16, like, call it maybe something like M16 versus this map, M16 versus that map, I don't know, maybe it sounds retarded, um, my wife says, thinks what I do is fucking retarded as it is, commenting over video games, she thinks it's just the most dumbest thing, um, she don't watch my videos and whatnot, but yeah, she thinks it's pretty retarded. But, um, oh well, I mean, it's it's a hobby of mine. Everybody needs a hobby, right? And, uh, oh, I almost missed that guy. But uh, the game's coming to an end. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess let me think. Should I do Should I do a series like that? Would it be something you guys would watch? Um, but let me know, and I'll be glad to do it, no matter how stressful it may be. But I get the nuke called in, and uh, the host gets his panties all open or not, and uh, dashboards right about here. <laughs> That's the gameplay commentary. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is Paul Master Caliber. Till next time, I'm out.